<laughs> so this is just two days. Two, 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 two days of the legal tampering period. The, league, the new league year starts tomorrow. But two days. And so much has happened already. So much amazing craziness has happened already. Last week was hella trades. Khalil Mack went to the Chargers. You got Russell Wilson at the Broncos. You got, you got multiple names in new places. And this is how I took it so far. As soon as this motorcycle's done. I don't know why. It's so loud outside. Shut up. <laughs> Anywho. Aaron Rodgers is more selfish. Devontae Adams still didn't get paid. Now he's threatening he won't play on a franchise tag, which is super, super fair because of the fact that he's played for years and he's demanded a new deal and they still won't pay him. Why? Why won't you pay this man? Meanwhile, you let Zadarius Smith go. You re-sign Rodgers to $50 million a year. And people are thinking that Jordan Love's gone. I told y'all in one of my videos. A few, I think it might have been a week or two ago. When you look at this Packers team, you are literally seeing a one person demand more because they're a great player, but he's putting himself over the franchise. Everything he's doing, he's putting himself over the franchise. Now you're losing good players and, and, and you have an unhappy star talent at wide receiver that you need to play with if you want to be successful, Aaron. And yet he's getting overpaid. He wants $50 million for the last four years of his career. That's wild. I don't know. I don't know how, to make, how you make that work. Uh, Cowboys. You get rid of Amari Cooper. Why, I have no clue he was supposed to be, if you're not number one option, he was definitely going to be a smooth number two. And in that wide receiver room, I don't know why you, you re-signed Michael Gallup to a five-year deal. You traded away Amari Cooper and you re-signed and paid a receiver that just came off an ACL tear. Were a significant leg injury. I could be right about that ACL tear, but I don't know. We'll see. It looks bad in Dallas. It looks so bad that it's funny in Dallas. Oh, it's hilarious. Oh, it makes me chuckle. <laughs> um, on top of that, you've even had a player... I don't know how it happened. Resign and then be told that he wasn't going to resign with you and decided to sign with the Broncos. I don't know how that happened. I have no clue how that happened. But that is insane. In and of itself, that's insane. Those are two contenders in the N NFC. Two contenders in the NFC. And you could possibly see them both falter to their own undoing. Jerry Jones played with house money. He didn't want to pay, pay certain players. He let, a other, he let a lot of others walk. And that is not what you do. This Green Bay, you overpaid a quarterback who could who could literally leave your team within the next few years. And now your actual team is falling apart because of that. Giants have done nothing. I don't know what the Giants are. I don't even know what the Giants are doing. Giants did nothing. Vikings did 
eh, they got a they got a few defensive talents, but re-signing Kirk Cousins is weird. I don't even think you want him. And now we got this three horse race in the NFC South for Deshaun Watson between Carolina, New Orleans, and Atlanta. <laughs> Number one, Carolina, you might have to give up Christian McCaffrey. Saints, you might, I don't, your cap situation is still bad, and you might have to give up Alvin Kamara. Falcons, what do you do with Matt Ryan? You brought in Deshaun Watson? What are you doing with Matt Ryan? What are you, trading him? Because you can't keep him. You're not keeping Matt Ryan and then Deshaun Watson sits on the bench if he plays immediately. Deshaun Watson's not sitting on the bench on a new team. <laughs> on the flip, you're not having Deshaun Watson come out and play and then having Matt Ryan sit on the bench. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Colts got rid of Carson Wentz, and I don't know what they're doing. Because they actually attempted to try for Deshaun Watson, and the Texans said, no. <laughs> nah. You ain't getting him. We'll do it. Everybody else in, in the NFC. But the Colts? Absolutely not. No, we are not. No. Whew. That's just some of the big stories. Chargers went all out. They traded for Khalil Mack, got, got J.C. Jackson, I think, and signed other big free agents. They're looking like a better team. Seattle are trying to talk themselves into Drew Locke. Ugh. No. If I was if I was Seattle, I'd call my team Detroit and uh trade up for a quarterback. That's exactly what you do. Detroit falls to nine, get gets whatever defensive talent is given, and from there we just go. But don't talk yourself into Drew Locke. He's a mess. Um, Patriots are losing players. Bucks had Tom Brady come back, so everybody's confused on what to do on their contract situations. Do we go to this new team? Do we not go to this new team? What do we What do we do? I don't know. This is funny, man. This got to be the funniest thing ever. There's still There's still players out there. There's still players out there in the free agent market, and there's possibly some that could get traded. So we'll see. Free agency starts officially tomorrow. So we'll definitely see. Sports Logic.